Today I am going to talk about a brain tumor but very different from what you would have actually thought of in terms of a brain tumor. When we think of a brain tumor you think of something really solid and big causing severe pressure inside the head and bringing about major symptoms. But today I am going to talk about one very tiny little tumor. In fact, it is a benign cyst. Cyst means just a membrane containing some fluid inside. So it's largely a membrane and there is a small amount of fluid inside. Usually the diameter of these lesions when it becomes symptomatic would be around a centimeter or so. It's so tiny. Yet, I would insist that each and every person with this cyst requires a surgery. And I will try and explain to you why I am talking about surgery in a benign small cyst. So benign means non-cancerous and it's so tiny that any other place it wouldn't cause any symptoms. So the site where it exists is the problem and the reason why we have to think about treating it. So where does it exist? It exists in the ventricles basically. And when we're talking about the ventricles, ventricles largely the place where the CSF or the cerebrospinal fluid is made and where the CSF fluid passes from one chamber to the other. So you have the two lateral ventricles, you have the third ventricle and the fourth ventricle. The two lateral ventricles are connected to the single third ventricle via the foramen of Monroe. That's a small opening over there. The connection is the foramen of Monroe and the colloid cyst is sitting right there at the mouth of the foramen of Munro. So what happens is suddenly this could block the CSF flow across the foramen Munro and because of that there is fluid build up in one of the ventricles or both the ventricles depending on which one is blocked. So both the ventricles are blocked, there is severe dilatation of the ventricles. Patients initially would complain of headache in some cases what happens is because the ventricles are getting dilated the opening also gets stretched a bit dilated a bit and the fluid starts leaking from there and the pressure goes down again and the headache is relieved and that is the most common symptom headache which suddenly disappears but imagine a scenario where this doesn't happen where there is no leakage of fluid and it continues to build up. So there could be tremendous increase in the pressure inside the skull and finally the brain could herniate leading to a catastrophic event. So what would be the treatment as you would have understood if something is blocking the pathway the treatment is all but obvious remove the blockage. So in spite of this tumor being really tiny I would suggest it makes good sense to remove that cyst. The surgical procedure can be done both microscopically as well as endoscopically and it can be beautifully removed and most patients do extremely extremely well post surgery and the interesting thing is it is a benign lesion once it is out you are cured. So when we are looking at a lesion which can be life threatening at the same time can be cured with a surgery I think make sense to remove it and take it out of the equation. So that's it, a tiny little cyst which can purely because of its sight get life threatening. Thank you.